It's terrifying out here. I'm being chased by several clones because I come in possession of information that could probably save mankind. But there's not much time. I can't tell you here. I, I, I gotta go. I gotta go. <sighs> <sighs> it's crazy out there, man. Like, I almost got killed. Anyways, sorry about that. I couldn't complete what I was trying to say there. Thankfully, the explosion disrupted their equipment and I have a few moments before they come for me. We don't have much time, so today we're going to be talking about the 10 deadliest tech that can actually kill you. Look, I know it sounds crazy, but this stuff is going on right now. It's like happening right now. I got to keep watching my back. Now, if you want to save my life, please go ahead and subscribe and like this video. And if you want to save mankind from extinction, make sure to share this video. Every now and again, we all have spells like technology, anxiety, whether it's threatening that your phone is watching you or believing that robots will enslave the human race. Most of the time, we are overreacting. But as following cases demonstrate, there are moments when there is cause to believe that your technology may actually lead you to death. So this is a list of the deadliest technologies capable of sending you to heaven or hell. Good luck guys. Let's start off with number 10, self-driving cars. There's no doubt that the number of self-driving cars on the road will skyrocket in the next few years. While the technology is still in its early stages, it will almost surely take off as manufacturers work out the problems. But the question is whether we should be concerned. Clearly, sure, right? What if a human-driven automobile tries to take advantage of a self-driving car by refusing to yield the right away. It's easy to argue that if they do, there's a high risk of an accident and that it's responsibility of the humans, not self-driving cars. But that won't help you if you end up in a hospital or worse. Hmm. Number nine, smart dust. Consider a world in which you are surrounded by hundreds of tiny robots. Can you see that? Hmm. Who monitor your every move. Smart dust, on the other hand, is bringing this picture to life. Smart dust are sensors, robots, or devices that are only a few millimeters in size. Pretty tiny, right? Can detect conditions such as light, sound, movement, magnetism, chemicals, and or temperature, as well as exchange information autonomously over a wireless network. As a result, once installed, smart dust may serve as your company's eyes or ears. However, this is where the issue arises. This smart dust, also known as most, has several good applications in healthcare, security, and other fields, but will be difficult to manage if used for evil purposes. Huh? What the heck was that? What's going on? Huh? Number eight, augmented reality. Uh, so you guys may know as AR. Smartphones may be distracting, so don't text or surf the wheel while strolling along a busy street or driving a car. It's so inconvenient when you need to answer to essential communication from your work or even a loving lover. Augmented reality, on the other hand, may be able to overcome that difficulty. These technologies appear to allow you to manage an environment safely by delivering contextual information in a transparent or less obtrusive manner. Similar to how fighter pilots utilize heads-up displays to maintain situational awareness. However, information overload may lead to tension, indecisive decisions and actions which contradicts the objective of AR, 
which is to enable quick action using real-time data. Let's go to the next one, number seven, brain computer interfaces. You probably like brain computer interfaces? Yes, you heard me right. Humans manipulate computers with their thoughts may seem like something out of a science fiction film, but owing to brain computer interfaces, this is becoming a reality. BCI technology allows a human brain to connect with a computer, phone, or any external devices by sending and receiving signals. Now that definitely sounds like something from a Star Wars movie, getting a lightsaber. And to me, that sounds like a win-win situation for everyone. However, the greater the benefit, the greater the damage. Number six, drone swarms. Drones have immense potential for good, but in the wrong hands, they also offer unique and terrible hazards. These threats may put modern defense capabilities such as those utilized by the U.S. military to the text. Drone swarms are a current danger that can overwhelm a target due to the sheer quantity of fast-moving, tiny arm devices. Let's go to the next one, Facebook. Facebook killed two million people in November 2016. Not exactly, but due to a bug in the social networking site, those checking onto their accounts discovered they had been memorialized, creating some anxiety for family and friends. One among people affected was Facebook's inventor, Mark Zuckerberg, who is still alive and well. Number four, this is your favorite one right here, guys. Fake news box. Yeah, fake news box. Fake news has been recognized as a significant global issue with concerns that it impacts elections and jeopardizes democracy. Fake news spread much faster than the actual news. The fake news is creating violence. And the vast bulk of it is generated by bots. Grover is an AI system that can generate a bogus news store based just on its title. Articles created by AI systems such as Grover are more credible than those authorized by humans. Such a shame. Number three, robots. Humans are already being killed by robots. They're simply not doing it in the conventional Hollywood way, march down the street at 60 feet tall, crushing foes like ants and shooting laser beams out of their eyes. No. Robots are being killed in industries. A robot was blamed for the death of a worker in a Michigan auto parts back in March. Whoa, what's that shaking? Whoa, what's that shaking? Oh my God, oh no, oh no! Oh shoot, they're coming to me, oh no! Oh, oh shoot! <laughs> Okay, guys. I thought they had me for good, but I'm good now. Okay, let's continue. Number two, video games. Video games are fun, but playing them too much can be fatal. A man died in Virginia in February 2017 while participating in a 24-hour gaming marathon. Brian Viner was raising money for a Make-A-Wish Foundation and got 22 hours into the session, which was webcast on Twitch. Before notifying spectators, he was stepping outside the smoke. It's reported he suffered a heart attack and never came back on TV. This may appear to be an extreme case, and most gamers need not to be concerned, but there have been stories of gamers suffering from a deep vein thermosis, a condition linked with sitting for numerous hours on a long haul trip. So guys, get up and take a break. Now, let's go to the last one. Number one, artificial intelligence, or it's better known as AI. While we haven't yet created super intelligent robots, or have we? 
we still have Google Home, Alexa, Siri, and so forth on, which is powered by a collection of AI power systems which can be useful or terrifying. One way AI may pose a risk is if it is intentionally programmed to be hostile, for example, by a military or a terrorist group, or what if mankind existence or actions deliberately contradict one of the AI's goals to the point where the only way to achieve that goal is to wage war with mankind until civilization is completely destroyed. So we gotta sit there and see there and be careful guys. Oh, oh, what's going on? Oh, oh, shoot, help me, oh, no, ah!